truth begins in lies. Think about it. House MD in this clip speaks that truth can begin from lies. The more shallower point is that lies contain a hint of truth, and with some analysis and further scrutiny, lies can lead to truth. For of course, to call something a lie is to know what is the truth, since to know something is wrong, or a lie, is to know where it is wrong, and therefore to know what is right or correct. However, if we go deeper, we have a strange situation in which truth can, be, can possibly come out of its opposite. This was famously argued by German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. In his aphorisms from Beyond Good and Evil, he says the following. How could anything originate out of its opposite? For example, truth out of error, or the will to truth out of the will to deception, or the generous deed out of selfishness, or the pure sunbright vision of the wise man out of covetousness. Such genesis is impossible. Whoever dreams of it is a fool, a worse than a fool. Things of the highest value must have a different origin, an origin of their own. Notice how Nietzsche compares the will to truth and the will to deception, which is precisely what House believes are complementary. When House is investigating the medical mystery, he is seeking truth, and when his patients have reason to lie, they are willing deception. But again, to be deceptive is to know already the truth, since one is attempting to hide it, and House, using his Sherlock Holmes wit, finds the hints of truth amongst the lies in order to piece together the answer. So does that make sense? That with enough errors we can discover the truth? Perhaps, but it requires something else in order to compile the half-truths. As Judge Judy famously says, if it doesn't make sense, it's not true. This means that if an incoming idea does not conform to what is already the working theory, or if it's so bizarre as to not be relevant, it is rejected. So there is a third factor here. It is not the case that truth is simply distilled error, but rather the Sherlock Holmes style of deduction that House uses is precisely this third factor which organizes the half-truths into a working theory, as the pieces of a puzzle, once put in the right places, produces the puzzle's picture. This third factor is the scaffolding of truth. It is what organizes and selects data. This is often where relativism breaks in, suggesting that the choice of scaffolding this third factor is arbitrary, and you could pick any framework you wish. The deduction and logic of house is one choice among many. For instance, a religious framework could be used, and if house used this, he would walk around looking for moral faults in his patients in order to explain their illness. Or a pragmatic approach could be taken, which would suggest statistics to be used to make decisions, since the outcomes benefit the majority. This approach would be House's demise, since his entire department is meant to tackle extremely rare medical cases, of which pragmatism would suggest to ignore in favor of House and his team spending most of their time in the clinic. To summarize, science typically hinges on the idea that truth is distilled error trial and error in order to finally happen upon the right combination. However, as I have discussed, a framework is needed to both organize incoming data and provide the ability to know when you have arrived at the truth. But what do you think? And do you think House is right or wrong?